Hey guys, what's up? Connor, aka the Music Fanatic, aka the guy who ran out of video ideas here. Coming to you guys with another video. This video is just going to be a video that I've been wanting to make for a while. I used to make these videos on pretty much every single channel that I've had up to the Music Fanatic, and I'm going to be making this channel's version of it now. This is just a video of me showing off my uh, CD collection. The reason why I'm making this video is because, one, I want to, and two, I couldn't think of any good reviews to do. So anyways, let's uh, not waste any more time, and let's start with this, by the way. If you see an album that you like on here that you think, hey, that'd be a good album that you should review, please let me know in the comments below, and also any albums that you think that I don't own that I should own, put that in the comments below, and I will try to get around to either purchasing them or listening to them. So anyways, let's start this video off with... Green Day, The Studio Albums, 1990 to 2009. We got Quattro, which is the making of Uno, Dos, and Trey. Then we got Trey. You can't tell already, all of these are in pretty much backwards order. But yeah. Then we got Dos, which is my least favorite Green Day album. And we got Uno. Um, a little side note, really not that, imp after much consideration listening to them, not that impressed with uh, the trilogy. Hopefully Green Day puts out another good album after these three. I disagree, Watch Mojo. Green Day should be recording new albums still. They still should be making um, albums. Anyways, then we got Awesome as Fuck. 21st Century Breakdown. Bullet in a Bible. American Idiot. Shenanigans. International Super Hits, Warning, Nimrod, Insomniac, Dookie, Kerplunk, 1003 Nights with Us Lap Hours. Then we got Led Zeppelin, Mothership, Physical Graffiti, Houses of the Holy, Led Zeppelin 4, 3, 2, and 1. Then up next, the album that I never reviewed. Deftones, Gore. Honestly, um, general opinion, 7.5 out of 10. But yeah. Then we got Koino Yogen, Diamond Eyes, Saturday Night Wrist, White Pony, Around the Fur, and Adrenaline. Gonna move this over real quick. Then we got The Offspring, Americana. Ixne on the Ombre. Smash. Then The All American Rejects, Kids in the Street. When the World Comes Down. My personal favorite, Move Along. And their self titled debut. Then we got the Foof, uh, Fort Minor, Rising Tide, I almost called them the Foo Fighters for some reason. Linkin Park, The Hunting Party. Living Things, my least favorite album by them. A Thousand Sons. Minutes to Midnight. Meteora. Hybrid Theory. And we got Blink-182 with the Dogs Eating Dogs EP. Neighborhoods, you know, I don't understand the hate for this album by some people. I generally think this is a great album by them. Then we got Blink-182's Greatest Hits. My personal favorite Blink-182 album. The self-titled album. Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Enema of the State. Dude Ranch. Cheshire Cat. If you're wondering, my printer was out of ink when I printed that. So, yeah. Then we got the self-titled album by the band Boxcar Racer. Uh, the Foo Fighters, Sonic Highways. By the way, general opinion on Sonic Highways, it's my least favorite Foo Fighters album. It's not terrible by any means, it's just after it's seeming how it's the predecessor to Wasting Light, which is my favorite album by them, kind of disappointed me. Then after that, we have The Color and the Shape, then the Sound City soundtrack which is a movie everyone should check out. Queens of the Stone Age, Era Vulgaris, 
Songs for the Deaf, which might be a review coming up, by the way. And we got Run DMC, Tougher Than Leather. Michael Jackson, Escape. Dangerous. Thriller. ACDC, Back in Black. And Highway to Hell. Now we have Elvis, um, Elvis Presley, 50 Worldwide Gold Hits, Volume 1, Parts 1 and Part 2. I guess Part 1 and Part 2. Then we got The Black Keys, El Camino. Then I found this in my vinyl copy, and I didn't know it came with it, but brothers. So now I own two albums by The Black Keys. I have no idea where the fuck the case went, but The Beatles won. Now it's to the Beatles album, which is half of my CD collection almost. Now we have Let It Be. I will say this till the day I die, and the day I will review it, you will know why. Greatest album ever made, Abbey Road. Also my favorite album of all time. Next we have Yellow Submarine. The White Album. Magical Mystery Tour. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yesterday and today. My second favorite album by the Beatles, Revolver. Rubber Soul. Then we got Help. Beatles 65. Something New. A Hard Day's Night. Beatles second album. Meet the Beatles. Please Please Me. Then my uncle made these for me when I had a huge Beatles fanatic thingy. Um, There's pretty much just three bootleg CD thingies that he made of me of the Beatles, which are just a bunch of songs that I didn't own by them, so I wanted to. But now I own them, and I don't even know why I still have these, actually. Next, we have Mudvayne, the new game. Not a fan of them anymore, but I have no idea where to put it, so, yeah. Then we got the album LD50, which I like one song off of. After that, we got Weezer, the white album. Everything will be alright in the end. Death to False Metal. Hurley. Cringiest album ever made. Red Album. Make Believe. Ugh. We get the Green Album. Pinkerton. And the White Album. They're about to tip over. That's why I move them over, by the way. Next we got Toad the, Wa to the Toad the Wet Sprocket, Five Live, weirdest band name ever, Fear, Pale, <clears throat> Pale, we got U2, All That You Can't Leave Behind, yeah, that's what it's called, um, it's the best of 1980 to 1990 by YouTube, but it's also their B-Sides album, no idea why I own this, but it's Europa, we got A Shung Baby, Hope that's how you pronounce it. <sighs> the Unforgettable Fire. There we go. I don't on vinyl and I have no idea what it's called. Well, Ramones, Rocket to Russia. I mean, that's called Road to Ruin. This is called Rocket to Russia. That's called Road to Ruin. I'm smart. Counting Crows, This Desert Life. Oasis, What's the Story, Morning Glory. Then we got Radiohead, The King of Limbs. In Rainbows, which is my second favorite album by them. Hail to the Thief. Kid A. My favorite album by them. OK Computer. And then we got The Bends. Next up, we have a band that I used to love. And that is Breaking Benjamin, Shallow Bay, the best of Breaking Benjamin. Phobia, but Dear Agony is also in there because I can't find a case for it. Saturate, Avenged Sevenfold, Hail to the King, Nightmare, Waking the Fallen, Def Leppard, Euphoria, Hysteria, System of Down, Hypnotize, Mesmerize, Toxicity, and their self-titled debut. And it's scratched to shit for some reason. Then we got Killers, Sawdust, 
Sugar A in the Pursuit of Leisure. Floored. And finally, 2112. And that's just the first row. So, still got a while to go. Moving that over real quick. Now we got Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy, and the Infinite Sadness. Depeche Mode, Violator. Music for the Masses. Matchbox 20, Yourself or Someone Like You. Uh, Chumbawamba, Tub Thumper. Anyone know who the fuck they are, by the way? If you are, if you do, good for you. Slipknot, point five, the great chapter. Iowa. Um, I can't find the CD. I don't know why. I don't know where the fuck it is. Self-titled debut by Slipknot. It's actually their second album, but most people think it's their debut. Finger Eleven, Them Versus You Versus Me. The Spider-Man soundtrack. Soil, True Self. Three Doors Down, Another 700 Miles. Red Hot Chili Peppers, I'm With You. Stadium Arcadium. By the way, my favorite album by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication. Then a band called Ecstasy and their album Oranges and Lemons. The Gorillas, Demon Days. Some 41, All Killer No Filler. My Chemical Romance, Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. Black Parade. Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. We got 20th Century Masters, Millennium Collection, The Best of White Snake. Real Big Fish. Why do they rock so hard? AFI, December Underground. All Time Low, Nothing Personal. Panic at the Disco, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. Tenacious D, The Rise of the Phoenix. The Pick of Destiny. Their self-titled debut. Then we got Coldplay, Milo Zyloto. The Mighty Bunny Paw Stones, Let's Face It. And finally, uh, Bare Naked Ladies, Everything to Everyone. Yep, that's what it's called. Now we have Eminem, The Marshall Mathers LP 2, Deluxe Edition, of course. Recovery. We got Curtain Call, the hits, pretty much Eminem's greatest hits. I don't know why I didn't just call it that. Then the Marshall Mathers LP 1. Now we got the Beastie Boys, um, Hot Sauce Committee Part 2, um, Paul's Boutique, License to Ill. For the longest time, I thought this album was called License to be ill, but apparently it's licensed to ill. Then we got Pink Floyd, A Momentary Lapse of Reason. The Dark Side of the Moon. I know. I know I don't own it on an exact original actual CD copy, but I own it on vinyl, so calm down. Next up, we got Bullet for My Valentine, Scream Aim Fire. Uh, this is the only album I like by them, so yeah. Next, we have Nirvana, In Utero, Incesticide, Nevermind, of course, and Bleach. Then we got Neutral Milk Hotel, the aer in the aeroplane over the sea, Soundgarden, Bad Motor Finger, Stun Temple Pilots, Core, Tron Legacy Soundtrack by Daft Punk, I guess. Then after that we have Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies EP, Dirt, Facelift, Pearl Jam, 10. I need more music by Pearl Jam. I need more than the album 10. Any suggestions, comments? Then we got Seether. Finding Beauty in Negative Spaces, Bush, 16 Stone, Chevelle, Wonder What's Next. You know, critically, this was called the best album of the 80s. It was put out in 1979, London Calling by The Clash. After that, we got In Excess, Kick, Third Eyed Blind, Blue. 
Bruno Mars, Doo-Wops and Hooligans. And we got Modest Mouse, good news for people who love bad news. Disturbed, The Sickness, Everclear, Songs from an American Movie, Volume 1, Learning How to Smile, Mumford and Sons, Sign No More. And then we have Justin Timberlake, 2020 Experience, Part 1 and Part 2. Also, anyone who has heard the new Justin Timberlake song, what are your thoughts about it? Because personally, I really like it. Justin Timberlake always impresses me with his music because as a kid, I was a Backstreet Boys and NSYNC fan. I know, but still. Next up, we have Corn. Follow the Leader. A three pack that I bought of Corn, which has their self titled debut album, Life is Peachy, and Issues on it. This is the greatest hits album of No Doubt, and it's the greatest hits of the singles from 1992 to 2003. Then we have the album Tragic Kingdom by them. This is a motor, um, Harley Davidson motorcycles road songs. I only have disc one, though, well, that's the problem. Up next, we have Shine Down Amaryllis, The Sound of Madness, Us and Them, and we got Tool, 10,000 Days, an album that turns 10 years old this year, or already turned 10, 10 years old this year, which means it has been 10 years since a Tool album has come out. Maynard James Keenan, Danny Carey, uh, Justin uh, fucking whatever his name is, um, and Adam jo Adam Jones, when are you putting out the new fucking album? Hope I got the guitarist name right, by the way, I, Justin Chancellor and Adam Jones, yeah, so when's a new Tool album coming out, because I really want it, Ladder Alice, by Tool, obviously, then you got Anima, or just Anima, whatever you want to call it, then Undertow, only one I don't own, an actual physical CD, and after that we have Metallica, Death Magnetic, and Justice for All. Master of Puppets, one of my personal favorite metal albums, if not my personal favorite metal album. Ride the Lightning. The Descendants, Milo Goes to College. Slayer, Repentless. Seasons in the Abyss, which is my favorite album by Slayer. Everyone should go out and listen to the song Expendable Youth right now, because it's like one of the best songs ever made by a metal band Rain and Blood by Slayer and we got Kendrick Lamar to Pimp Butterfly which is my personal favorite album of 2015 and it's probably the best album of this decade so far and we got Good, Good Kid Mad City by Kendrick Lamar yes I'm a rap fan sometimes then we got The Goo Goo Dolls Dizzy Up The Girl Beck Guerra Odile Robot, something supernatural. Go check out this band. They're not known by much of anyone, but they fucking kick ass. They are amazing. Crowbot is awesome. Now we got Iron Maiden, The Book of Souls. If it gets out, then I, I can move on with this. Then we have Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. My favorite Iron Maiden album, Power Slave. How I Own on Vinyl. I have no idea, but I do. Then we got the album I reviewed by Iron Maiden on this channel, The Number and the Number of the Beast. Self-titled album by The Royal Blood. Rise Against, The Black Market. Van Halen, Different Kind of Truth. If Van Halen doesn't put out a new album, I'm kind of fine with that. Then we got 1984, and then Daft Punk, Random Access Memories. Let's move that forward a little bit. Then we get on to the last row. And then I have two CD cases, which are full of CDs. So, yeah. Now we have Jack White, Lazaretto, Blunderbuss, The White Stripes, Icky Thump, Get Behind Me Satan, Elephant, and... White Blood Cells. By the way, um, little change something right now with my top 10 favorite bands of all time. 
Uh, sorry, but the White Stripes is no longer number nine. Blink-182 kind of took that spot because I re-listened to all their albums and I re-got into the band and I realized how much I love that band. So, from, uh, for, so number 10 is still Metallica, but number nine is now Blink-182. And the White Stripes are not in the top 10 anymore. Sorry. Now we have The Strokes. Is this it? Muse, The Resistance. Black Holes and Revelations. Abs Absolution. I thought it was called something else. Origin of Symmetry. Then we have, in my opinion, the best punk rock album ever made by any band ever. Never mind the Bullocks. Here's the Sex Pistols. The Presidents of the United States of America self titled album. Three Days Grace, One X, Fall Out Boy, Take This to Your Grave. Then the last two are Day to Remember, What You Can't, What Separates Me from You, and Homesick. So those are the CD racks. Now on to the two CD cases that I have, which have. So in this first one, which is a vault one, which is kind of metal-ish, we have. The Doors, self-titled uh, debut. Strange Days. Slipknot, Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses, All Hope Is Gone. Rage Against the Machine, self-titled album. Battle of Los Angeles. If any of you pay attention to the genre thing down here, most of them are dead wrong, but I can't really change that anymore. Then we have Audio Slave, self-titled debut. Crown the Empire, The Fallout, which is a band that I completely forgot about, by the way. The debut album, The Fallout, is pretty good, but nothing else they put out was really all that special. Queens of the Stone Age, Like Clockwork, which is my favorite album of 2013, by the way. Them Crooked Vultures, are they putting out a new album, by the way? Because I really want them to. Anyways, that's their self-titled debut. Sum 41, Does This Look Infected, Screaming Bloody Murder, Fallout Boy from Under the Cork Tree, Save Rock and Roll, an album I don't really like anymore. Motley Crue's Greatest Hits, Linkin Park, Hybrid Theory EP, The Naked and Famous, Passive Me, Aggressive You, Three Days Grace, Self-Titled Album, Nothing Apparently, Foo Fighters, Self-Titled Album, Self-Titled Debut, There's Nothing Left to Lose, Echo Silence, Grace and Grace, and The Greatest Hits Album, Skillet, Comatose, Awake, Rise, Queen's Greatest Hits, Silver Chair, Frog Stomp, American Football, Self-Titled Album, Sublime, self-titled album, Sublime with Rome, yours truly, Angels and Airwaves, Love, Part 1 and 2, Avenged Sevenfold, City of Evil, self-titled album, The Eminem Show, by Eminem, Relapse, Trapped, self-titled album, The Police, the very best of Sting and the Police, Korn's Greatest Hits, Volume 1, Kiss, Destroyer, Rock and Roll Over, 20th Century Masters, Millennium Collection, the best of Kiss, then the last two are Backstreet Boys, Greatest Hits, and uh, Never Gone. And over in this one right here, we have The Ramones, self-titled album, Never Set, Behind Every Door. If, you've, if any of you have heard of that band, I'm really surprised by that. Then we got Jimmy World, Bleed America, The Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, Don't You Fake It, The Who, Meaty Beady Beacon Pouncy, Paramore, Riot, Yellow Card, Ocean Avenue, no. Aerosmith, Big Ones, Arcade Fire, Funeral, Nothing, apparently. The Beach Boys, Pet Sounds, Stone Temple Pilots, High Rise EP, which is the one that features Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. Bad Religion, Recipe for Hate, Stranger Than Fiction, Arctic Monkeys, whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. Favorite Worst Nightmare, Arctic Monkeys, Second and C, and then AM. Coldplay, A Rush of Blood to the Head, Viva La Vida, or Death and All's Friends. Weedus, the self-titled album. They're the band that sings uh, Teenage Dirtbag. Incubus, Morning View. Death Grips, Ex-Military, The Money Store. Death, Dead by Sunrise. Out of Ashes, Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dreams. Or just Siamese Dream. Soundgarden, Telephantasm, Pixies, Doolittle. All Time Low, Don't Panic. Red, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Rise Against, Siren Song of the Counterculture, Pol Appeal to Reason, Endgame, Godsmack, Awake, and we got Death, 
for the whole world to see, which is a punk rock band from the 70s. Metallica, the Black Album. Load, Reload. Misfits, Static Age. Jimi Hendrix, Experience. It's pretty much the best of Jimi Hendrix. And then, finally, last but not least, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. So, that is my CD collection, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. In the comment section below, leave me suggestions of albums I should get, albums I should listen to, and albums that I should review in the future. And also, a little announcement I wanted to make, in the description below, there is a link to a separate channel, which is actually, the channel is called Palmetto Band, and that's actually a band that I'm, go that I'm in currently right now. We just started, and we wanted pretty much support. I play bass in the band, so if you were to go check that out and like and like the page, not like the page, like our Facebook page if you want to, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that's pretty much it. If you like this video, like this video, and three, two, one, I'm done. Goodbye, and subscribe.